After the Macedonian Front formed at the end of 1915, it became pretty much unchanged until the end of the war, with some failed attempts from the Entente to break the front with the 1916 Monaster Offensive and the 1917 Spring Offensive. In 1918, the situation for the Central Powers deteriorated rapidly after the fail of the German Spring Offensive on the Western Front. The Allies took the initiative to try to break the Macedonian front and take out Bulgaria from the war. In September 1918, they launched the Vardar Offensive, which was designed to penetrate the front in the region of Dobropol with support attack around the Duran Lake. In case of breakthrough, the Bulgarian army on the whole front would be divided in two and clear path to the liberation of Serbia would be created. In this video, we will focus on the Battle of Doran and how it went for the both sides. This was not the first time the Allies had attacked Dodrin in 1916. An Anglo-French attempt was repulsed by the Bulgarians and the next year the British failed to capture it again. The main push for the break trough would be done at Dobropol, while the attack on Doran would be supportive. The plan of the Anglo-Greek forces, commanded by the British General George Milne, is to penetrate the Bulgarian positions with frontal and flank attacks. For the attack, he has available four British and three Greek divisions, with a total strength of about 60,000 men. On the other side, the 9th Plevin Division, commanded by then Colonel Vladimir Vazov, has around 20,000 available men to defend the position. The lesson learned from past Allied attacks on Duran is that the position had not been sufficiently fortified. For that purpose between 1916 and 1917, the Bulgarians constructed three lines of defense, frontal, intermediate and main, reinforced with barbed wire, concrete and rock shelters to protect the soldiers from artillery attacks. On September 8, 1918, the battle formally starts with unprecedented 10 days artillery fire, which destroys most of the barbed wire and the trenches. Besides that, the British use poisonous gas to be sure that the defenders will be eliminated. After the artillery strikes, on the September 18th, at 4.30 a.m., thousands of Anglo-Greek forces attack. As a great surprise for the attackers, the Bulgarians expected them with almost full forces, thanks to the shelters and gas masks. After half an hour of advancing, the Allied forces reach the first line of defense and begin to break through it, meeting fierce resistance and counterattacks from the Bulgarians. The battle for the first line had lasts until 9 o'clock, when the Greeks and the English break through it. The Bulgarians organize a retreat successfully and retreat to the second line of defense at around 1 p.m. Meanwhile, the left flank of the Brits manages to break through the first and second lines of defense before being pushed back while trying to penetrate the third line by the Bulgarians. In the following hours, the Entente troops try to advance with little to no success until 4 p.m. when they achieve a breakthrough and push back the Bulgarians to their last line of defense by 8 p.m. This time the Bulgarians don't have time to counterattack and the third line is partially taken by British troops, which manage to get within 100 meters from the HQ of Vladimir Vazov. By 10 p.m., the situation for the Bulgarians seems lost, but Vladimir Vazov waits for the decisive moment and throws and attack the precious reserves of the division, leading to irresistible counterattack, in which the Bulgarians retook control of the main and intermediate positions and pushed back the Anglo-Greek forces to the first line of defense, thus defeating an enemy, outnumbering them by about three times. Later on September 19th, the Allies tried one more time to retake the positions, with the same result. 
At the end of the day, during the whole battle, the Entente casualties were about 11,000 and the Bulgarian 2,200. In the two brutal days of fighting, the final winner was Bulgaria, but right after the success, on September 20th, Vladimir Vazov got an order to abandon the position because the Macedonian front was penetrated elsewhere at Dobropol. But that battle deserves its own video. After the position was abandoned, the enemy did not dare to enter it until the 22th September. Just seven days later, on September 29th, Bulgaria left the war.